Now let's check how our site looks. If you go to your site now, you can do it like this. You can just hover over the top uh, little icon here. And when you open new pages, open them in a new tab. Don't just click on the link. Hold Control or Command on a Mac, or you can right click and then open in a new tab. I'm gonna close this tab over here. Now your website looks like absolute absolute crap. Like you're probably wondering like, what the hell, this is WordPress? Like this is not what I signed up for. But basically that's how it looks right off the bat. And we're, we're gonna change all that really easily. If you go to appearance themes, you can switch themes. Let this load, come on internet is a little slow today so let's say I wanna I want this theme I can activate this theme and if I go back to the web page and I refresh it it looks like that All right so this is how you can switch themes the only problem is um, once you finish building your website, you, you won't be able to switch themes with just a click of a button because there are a lot of settings and different themes that start interfering with each other. So even though like it gives you this option to install themes with one click, usually you're going to stick with the theme that you first choose. After you've built your website, you're not going to switch themes. Or if you want to switch themes and redesign your site altogether, it's going to be a long process not a long process but it's gonna it's it's more difficult it's more complicated than than what this tutorial is meant for so i'm just not going to cover it here if you guys want you can send me an email or just ask or leave a comment and ask me ask me questions about <laughs> switching themes if that's what you want if that's what you want to learn okay so next thing we got to do is we're gonna need to install this magical template that I was talking about so go to the link below this video where it says themes te slash templates and click on that that should take you that should take you to uh, this theme over here the Enfold theme now I'm already logged in here so I'm just gonna log out let's try this one more time All right, here we go. So here is the theme. You can add it to cart. Extended support for 12 months. We don't need that. Go to checkout. Checkout. First name. Fill in your first name, last name, email, and fill in your uh, billing information. I've already bought this, so I can't buy it a second time. So I'm just going to log into my account. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what to do. So get this theme, register. I'm going to clear my shopping cart because I don't want this here. Buy the theme. And after you've bought the theme, log into your account and go to downloads right here. Click on downloads. Now I've bought a bunch of themes here. You know, I've bought the info theme. I've bought some medical theme. I've bought WooCommerce plugins, like all these other themes. Um, but we're just going to download the one that you bought which is right here you have all these different options when you click on download you can download all files or you can download installable files only and this is what you need you need the second option installable files installable wordpress file only click on that and it's downloading so give it some time let it finish downloading then move it to a folder where you have your website you know organize all your stuff in one place and I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it again. And go back to um, go back to WordPress. And close all these tabs, and go back to themes. Click on it again just to refresh the page, and go to Add New. Then click on Upload, and choose the file, choose the theme file that you've downloaded. Now here's how it looks. It's about 23 megabytes in size, so it's going to take a little bit of time to upload. After you've chosen the file, click install and don't do anything after you've clicked install. If you look at the bottom of the left corner, you can see the upload status, 15, 17%, 19, 20, it's going up. 
if you do something on this page right now you're gonna cancel the uploading process so if you want to work on something in WordPress while something else is happening you want to open a new tab so you open a new tab and now you can work on pages post add new categories do whatever you want click on a bunch of stuff whatever and this thing is not being interrupted okay so let's just let's just wait for this upload to finish After it's finished uploading, you have to activate it. Now if you go to your website, it's still going to look pretty bad. So you click open. It still looks pretty bad. This is not what we bought, right? But I'm going to show you how to fix this with one click. So before I show you how to, how to set up your website with one click, how to import the demo, Let's just do a quick overview of what's happened here. So after installing this theme, you, s you can see there's a new icon on the left right here. And this is where all the theme settings are. Also, there's an icon up here. So you can quickly go to all the different settings. Like all these settings on the left right here, theme options, general layout, general styling, advanced styling, all of them are also up here in the toolbar. So you can quickly go to them when you're working on another page or something. So basically what you have here is you have your main theme options. You can select which page you want to be your front page. So when you go to your .com, uh, your name.com, which page appears first. You can put, put your logo up here. You can put the favicon we're talking about here. You know, there's all these different options. You can put your Google Analytics code in here. Um, under general layout, you can change like the dimensions of your website, the width, uh, the content to sidebar ratio. And a sidebar is basically like something like this, like something on the side of the of a website. That's called a sidebar. And a footer is something on the bottom. A header is in the in the head. So depending on which section you want to edit, you would click on them here. So under general styling, you have colors. You know, you can pick a different color scheme for your entire website, and all the colors will change automatically. Or you can just use your own custom colors if you want. Uh, under advanced styling you can pick like different elements that you want to style and then you click on edit element and it will let you style it but I'm not gonna do that right now header is where you modify the way the header looks uh, sidebar is the sidebar it's gonna be on the side something like this right here or it can be on the right side the left the right whatever footer is a footer blog is your blog layout social profiles this is where you can add your all your facebook's and twitter's and all this stuff so you can add the plus button fill it all in a newsletter here i'm not going to show you how to set up a newsletter in the letter in this tutorial i will in another tutorial or if you send me a comment but basically you gotta sign up for mailchimp get an api key cut and paste it in here and you can start collecting newsletters sorry you can you can start collecting emails so you can send people a newsletter and advertise your products or services or whatever it is that you're doing under here you have the demo import which I'll show you in one second and here you have import export where you can export like the theme settings so after you build your website it's a good idea to export all your theme settings just so in case something goes wrong you can just import them later on and boom everything is restored back to normal and you can update your theme here now you don't have to renew your license for a theme every year you can just buy a theme and just keep that theme and after one year you basically don't get upgrades but you don't really need upgrades or updates to your theme uh, chances are it's gonna work totally fine for the next few years I tend to renew my themes if I need to renew a theme license I can re you know sometimes I renew it after like two years or three years after enough updates have happened and if I feel like I want those new features and the updates or whatever, I'll, I'll renew a theme after like two or three years. But like that $59 that you paid, pretty much consider it a one-time fee. Okay, so now let's import a demo. 